And that is when we finally see Jade and Bianca in the back later. They reveal that they're the ones who went to Nick Aldis and asked if they could make this match. So that is when we find out that we will have Jade and Bianca put their titles on the line against the Unholy Union, Isla, Dawn, and uh, Alba Fire. Against Shayna Baszler and Zoe Stark at Clash at the Castle. And I'm actually, I feel like I'm a lot more excited about this match than maybe I should be. And I don't mean that in like a negative way, but I couldn't tell you the last time that I was looking forward to a women's tag team title match. Yeah, not only just a women's tag team title match, it's a triple threat. So it's a more of a reason to tune out. But mm. the way they built this and who's involved, you're, you're intrigued on how this is going to go. Because I, you could you could see in, in one way, you could see Bianca and Jay just dropping the titles and whatnot and starting something new because that's what they do and that stars like that do. And then one of the other teams getting it, whatever. But you could all see them just dominating. Too. Like I could actually see them, not a total squash match, but like superhero type of shit. Like, they're just built like that. And, yeah, it might be in your face. Well, some things in life are just in your face, and that's just life. It is what it is. And they are what they are. They're mm -hmm. just megastars that look like something out of a comic book. And they should be they should be the tag team champions. I don't know for how long. I'm for it being quite a while. Because, really, what else can you do with Bianca right now? I think that and she's enjoying this too. Exactly. Like it's such a change of pace for her. You know, like I think that sometimes it's like, I'm not, they're not equal. Um, I don't mean that, but it's like uh, when Randy was paired with Matt Riddle, it was like, he didn't yeah, yeah. care that he wasn't in the main event. You know, he didn't care that he wasn't going for the world title. He yeah. actually was enjoying having a tag team title run because that's not something that he ever really did or probably didn't think at that point in his career that he exactly. would get to do it for as long as he did. Nor did he probably think that it would be as fun as he was no. having. You know what I mean? So yeah. I feel like that's kind of where Bianca is. And I think she obviously is still going to have aspirations to, you know, do whatever, however many title runs she wants or main event, WrestleMania, whatever she might have, but she's done a lot already in her relatively short career, I would say. Um, and so I think that it's okay for her to then be like, okay, yeah, I'm going to be a tag team with Jay Cargill for a while. Cause that helps me. Like, I get a break from doing all of these other things on my own. I get to hang out with a girl that I actually like and is my friend, while also simultaneously helping her establish herself in WWE. Like, exactly. to me, it this works could, well. It yeah. could also open doors for, you know, outside of WWE, you know, kind of that, that face of the company that WWE wants to bring more eyes onto the product. You know, mm -hmm. the two of them are going to get more eyes on the product. So mm -hmm. it, it's brilliant. It's absolutely uh, brilliantly done. And I think that the ta yeah. women's tag titles need to be held by people for a while, like be held by a legitimate tag team that is like putting on good matches and actually defending it. Yeah, um, really I think otherwise, yeah, it's just they've been either dropped too, too often or... Um, a, a tag team was holding them but they weren't really defending them or doing anything with them so then you kind of forgot that they even existed so I think that they have the potential to do that and because they're going to inevitably want them on TV probably a little bit more than the other girls that have held the titles before them you, you think you would assume that that means they're going to be on Smackdowns they're going to be on Raw they might show up in NXT like there's going to be re reasons for them to be on TV all the time which will be nice so 